In one of my interviews with saxophonist Dave Liedman, he talked about how he learned to play jazz before it was a course of study in schools. And, you know, there were no books, there were no online resources. I then asked my AI Jazz Master Chat, which uses those interviews as its brain, to give me ways that today's students can use the things that Lieb did and combine that with their studies at school. It replied, Dave Liebman learned to play jazz through a self-directed trial and error process. He listened to records, asked friends for guidance, and observed other musicians. This means that his learning journey was highly individualized, allowing him to develop his own unique style, but it also meant that there were gaps in his knowledge due to the lack of structured education. To combine Liebman's approach with modern jazz learning materials, a student can, one, embrace self-learning and curiosity, just like Dave did. Students should take a proactive approach in their education. This means actively listening to recordings, transcribing solos, and trying to play along with the masters. Two, use modern technology. Today's students have access to an abundance of online resources, such as YouTube tutorials or online jazz courses that provide structured lessons that Liebman didn't have. This can fill the gaps that come with a purely self-taught approach. Three, focus on ear training. Liebman highlighted the importance of ear training. Students can use apps and software for ear training to enhance their ability to recognize chords, progressions, and melodies. Four, transcribing music. Students should manually transcribe music just as Liebman did before there were transcription books. This helps in developing a deeper understanding of phrasing, articulation, and the overall feel of jazz which cannot be fully captured through written notes alone. Five, combine structured learning with exploration. Engage with structured learning methods like jazz syllabi from reputable music schools, but also leave room for personal exploration and creativity. This dual approach ensures a well-rounded education, learning both the rules and how to creatively break them. By blending Liebman's methods with these modern tools and resources, students can develop their own unique and strong foundation in jazz. All right, that was cool. Now here's the snippet of the interview that that was derived from. I was, well, self-taught. I mean, I, I, I come from, quote, the streets compared to the academy. You know, I didn't have, we didn't have a jazz school in New York City at that time, believe it or not, in the 60s. And uh, I knew I wanted to stay in New York. I, you know, I'm from New York, I lived in New York, but uh, I knew that I didn't want to leave and there was nowhere to go for school. So I learned by myself, by, by trial and error, by asking friends, watching piano players, hands move, et cetera, et cetera. So it was not definitely because of that, if not, if that, if, not, if only that, it was not a straight line, it was for sure. And I think one thing has to do with, first of all, lack of information or information that was, um, uh, put out there that might not have been 100% accurate. In other words, it's when you don't have school to guide you, for better or worse, you make your own trajectory. And uh, when you make your own trajectory, there are two things. One is it's least it's you, it's your individual, and there'll be nobody who does it like you. On the other hand, because you're doing it mostly on your own, you will have holes. So those holes, that step ladder that you're talking about, what happened here and there, where I would say I'm not making progress. Uh, this, 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 this particular musical thing I was looking at has run its course, um, blah, blah, blah. And also, most important, uh, confidence that you were good enough to get up there and play with whoever you chose to play with or whoever chose you to play with. And that is a big curve because that goes from the top to the bottom pretty quick. It could happen overnight. And uh, we have, you know, a lot of things that, uh, that affect the personality stimulants that you might turn to, prayer that you might turn to, etc. cetera. Um, we were in a very experimental mood in the 60s, which I'll put down as my training ground. Um, uh, there were a lot of ways to try to do things, as we all know from what happened in the 60s. So uh, it definitely was not a straight line. I, I would imagine that if you're young now, you go to music school, you go to, to North Texas, where you are, or, whatever, or Arizona, or whatever, um, that you uh, have, if you had at all care, and it all could take directions, you have a pretty straight path. I mean, you might not feel that way about it, but you're being presented with the material in an orderly, sequential way, which is not true for people like me. I've learned this as a path to learning that, and then there was a whole created. For example, 
I've never written a big band show in my life. Just never have, because I just never took it as a course. I never learned the rules. And there are a lot of things you can learn besides creativity. There are like real tools for providing a big band shot. I just never thought I could do it. And I never have done it. Uh, if I was in school, I'd probably be writing big band charts from the second semester on. So that's the part of the self-taught regimen that, you know, you have to face. So it was not a straight line, but on the other hand, there was a lot of room for individuality because it was not cookie cutter stuff. School creates cookie cutter mentality. Where you do everything that's the same as everybody else and they're all very good now the, the level is very high so there's a lot less individuality because of this way of teaching now everybody gets the same material i don't care if you're in arizona or new jersey state college jazz is jazz and you get it it's like classical you're gonna you're gonna get it in the same order and in, in the, you're gonna get the same information possibly some places better than others but you're gonna definitely get that so your job is to follow what they tell you and you get out of school and you have a very complete training which we I don't know your age or nothing or what you know but I uh, envy the training that my students get they're getting me I didn't get me I didn't have me talk I had me you know sitting at the bar talking to uh, you know Charles Lloyd do you give lessons yes I do show up tomorrow and I spent the next year every Sunday with him very ad hoc 